In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to take an audio track and multiply it on the screen and then save the enlarged track for use in this project or other ones. We're going to be using the Wave Editor. This comes as a request from one of my subscribers who said, well, I multiplied it on the track, but I can't save the version that's three times longer than it was when we started. So let me show you how to do that. Now a word about Wave Editor. That comes in PowerDirector up through version 16. In version 17 it was replaced by the Audio Editor. So here I'm operating out of PowerDirector version 16 because I want to show you how the Wave Editor handles this issue. So I have an audio file, a mp3 file, and I'll take and drag it down into track number one, the audio track. Let's assume I want it to be three times this length. Right now it's 2 minutes and 28 seconds. We'll make it about 7 minutes long when we're done. Normally I could take it and drag it three times and multiply it. That's not what we're going to do. I'm going to right click on the audio file, click on Edit Audio, I'll choose the Wave Editor. I click on that and it will open my Wave Editor screen. Now I have my audio file. It starts out with a cursor on the very left side in the first frame, if you will. I'm going to click on the gold triangle in the upper left and drag across the file to the end of it where I want to the area where I want to multiply or copy. And then I'll let go maybe a little longer here. Let's try about this point. And then I simply click on the copy icon. It's the fifth one from the left and it will copy that segment. Then I can click anywhere in the shaded area, put my cursor where I want it to go, and of course we can enlarge this if we want it bigger. Right there and then I will click on paste. It just duplicated again. I can repeat the process. Let's magnify it again. Since I already copied it, it's still in memory. So I'll move my time indicator about here and click on paste again. And now I'm going to look at this here where we'll look at the whole timeline. And you notice I have three copies of the same audio clip. The easiest way to save it is simply click on the X in the upper right corner and it says you want to save the changes. I will say yes. And now it takes me back to my copy of PowerDirector. And I have the triple size clip here. I have a copy of the original. I haven't damaged it. And then I have a copy of the longer one which happens to be 7 minutes, 19 frames, and 10 seconds long. Now if I want to know where that is, I simply right click on it and click on Open File Location and it will open it in my hard drive wherever I saved it. And here is my longer file. So that's the easy way to find where it saved it on your system. So this is a very simple way. You can multiply an audio file two, three, four, five times or more in length and save the modified file in your project and for future use in CyberLink PowerDirector using the Wave Editor found in versions 16 and under.